We begin remembering our baptism, that in the waters of baptism we have been united to the death and resurrection of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Death has no dominion over them. Blessed are those who die in the Lord, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven.
Sisters and brothers in Christ, beloved children of God, grace, mercy, and peace be with you all. Let us pray. God of life, on this day, we remember before you all the saints you have received into heaven, especially our family members and friends. Grant us the help we need to continue our journey of life and faith, following in the way of love that you have shown us in Jesus, in whose name we pray, amen. A reading from Hebrews. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Word of God, word of life, thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is from Psalm 100. Our response is, make a joyful noise to the Lord. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness and come into his presence with singing. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Alleluia, they are before the throne of God, and the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. Alleluia.
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Dear friends, I greet you in the name of God who gives us life, in the name of Jesus who is the way of love, and in the name of the Holy Spirit that lives in us. Amen. So today we celebrate All Saints Day. It is a very ancient tradition in the church. By about the third century in the church, so it's not too many generations after Jesus, people of the church were gathering and remembering and giving thanks for their beloved deceased who had entered in to the kingdom of God. So every November 1st, we celebrate All Saints, and sometimes I like to refer to All Saints as Easter in November, because it is the Easter promise that makes it possible for, to, for us to gather on this day in hope. So who are the saints that we remember today? and throughout this month of November. Well, some of them are very well-known saints. Their names are in our worship book. And in a lot of our churches, you will find their pictures and their statues. They are the saints that I refer to as the spiritual gold medal winners. They are the saints who are a part of the Saint Hall of Fame, Saint Mary, Mother of Jesus, Saint Peter, upon whom Jesus said, I'm going to build my church on you, Saint Paul, the missionary who went all over preaching the good news of Jesus. And then I always have to give a shout out to my favorite saint, that little man from Assisi, Saint Francis. So those are some of the saints. The book of Hebrews says that we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Those are some of the witnesses, those really famous saints. But this is called all saints. It's not called really famous saints day. It's not called really big saints day. This is called all saints day. And it is a time for us not just to remember Mary and Peter and Paul and Francis and so many others. It's a time for us to remember our beloved saints. Now, their names are not in our worship book and their pictures and are not in our churches. And I doubt any of our family members have statues that have been erected in their honor. But these saints we remember today. 
they are the parents and the grandparents. They are the husbands and the wives. They are the sons and the daughters. They are the brothers and the sisters. They are the co-workers and neighbors and friends. Those are the saints that we remember today. All of those people who in some way God used to touch and bless our lives. Hebrews said, we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. And I take comfort that in that cloud of witnesses are so many of my beloved. I have both sets of my grandparents there. My father is there now. We have a daughter that's a part of that great cloud of witnesses. And there have been so many people over the, my years as a pastor that are a part of that cloud. We take comfort that they have joined that great cloud of witnesses, that they are in the place that God is, and that we trust, at least I do anyway, that we trust that they continue to be a part of our lives. And they continue to inspire us in a variety of ways. And they continue to pray for us from their place in heaven. So today is not some saint's day. It's not famous saint's day or big saint's day. It's all saint's day. And that includes all of your beloved deceased family and friends. So I read this story about a priest who was visiting classrooms at the uh, parochial school and he was asking this uh, group of young kids the typical question that we ask kids, what do you want to be when you grow up? And one little boy raised his hand and said, I want to be a saint. Well, that little boy knew how to impress his pastor. <laughs> I want to be a saint. What I want to say to you is that you are a saint. Each and every one of us is a saint. Because a saint is someone who just knows that they have been embraced and enveloped with the love of God. And then they do the very best they can to let that love go through them to the people around them. So who are the saints? They are the people who love. That's my definition of a saint the people who love. Amen. We confess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. God of our ancestors, you are forever faithful to your promises. In confidence, we offer our prayers. Strengthen your church to be an instrument of your healing and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give rest and refreshment to those who are weary in spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Fill our hearts with gratitude for the abundance of your grace. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. Bring reconciliation and forgiveness to people who are broken and divided. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Open the eyes of our hearts to recognize your presence in our neighbor. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who have gone before us, but whose love remains with us, we give thanks. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the sick and the hospitalized, for those undergoing treatments, recovering from surgery or preparing for surgery, for those who struggle with mental illness or addiction, for those who grow frail with age, for those with dementia and those who care for them, for those who have sorrow and sadness upon their souls, and for those who will die on this night. We commend all of these into your hands, O God. Surround them with your presence. Give to them your help, especially those we name in our hearts before you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our bishops Elizabeth and Amy, guide them with the wisdom of your Holy Spirit and keep them in good health. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Receive these prayers, gracious God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Creator God, the bread we break and the wine we pour come from you. As we eat and drink with thanksgiving, fill us with your love. Let that love overflow through us to others. And join us with all the saints in a holy and boundless communion. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. I invite you to stand. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ. We praise you for our beloved deceased, who now live with you in light and peace, and who also continue to live within the memories of our hearts. And so with all the saints, with the choirs of angels and all the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. praise you all holy God our maker our lover our keeper we praise you for the universe beyond our knowing for earth and sea and all creatures and for the places we humans call home we praise you for your covenant people and for centuries of faithful Christians we praise you, O God, for Jesus Christ, who saves us from sin and evil, embodying forgiveness, granting us grace, setting us free. On the night before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Do this in memory of me. When the supper was ended, Jesus took the cup. Again, Father, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all people so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. And so we remember Jesus, the Word made flesh, his life, death, and glorious resurrection, his presence in this meal and in our neighbor, and we proclaim the mystery of faith. We 
we pray, O God, for your spirit, your breath, your fire, your wisdom, your grace, your freedom. Bless this meal and all those who share it. Inspire your people for service. In memory of our Lord, we offer you this life-giving bread and this saving cup. We offer you our family and friends whom we remember before you on this All Saints Day. Thank you for the eternal life they now share with you and all the saints. We offer you our own lives. May we be instruments of your grace and mercy in the world. Thank you for inviting us to be here in your presence and to serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. With the church throughout the world, we join in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. <coughs>
Let us pray. Creator God, in this meal you gave us a foretaste of the great feast to come. Keep us united in you, in lives of love, mercy, and justice, that we, with all your saints, may at length celebrate the banquet of life that is eternal, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Loving God, bless our families and fill our homes with respect, joy, laughter, and prayer. Especially send your blessing upon Christina and her family, Steve and Mary and their family, Josh and Laura and their family. Protect them, guide them, and deepen their love for you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The God of peace, who creates all things and calls them good, who makes us alive in Jesus, and who breathes on us the spirit of hope, bless you now and forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Led on by the saints before us, Go in peace to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.